E. Expedience. While the butterflies fluttered foolishly and the grasshoppers pranced playfully, the ants were busy collecting food for the bare, cold winter that they knew would be blowing down very soon from the hills. Every morning they marched forth from their ant hill and, in orderly fashion, broke into small hunting parties to find food. Ants, as we know, are hard workers, but some ants are stronger and faster than others. In this particular colony, there was one who was greatly admired. Because he could gather food faster than any other ant, he was made commander of the fleet. He was so fast that his legs whirred like propellers. With the food clamped firmly in his jaws, he looked like a red streak as he whirred past the other ants. With the smell of winter on the wind, the ants were hurrying to collect enough food to last until spring. The commander, as usual, was the hero of the ant hill. He brought back three times as much food as anyone else. His feats of strength and their speed were legendary. Parents told their children bedtime stories about him. Old folks compared him to the heroes of yesteryear. When his friend said, What's your secret? He answered, Exercise. And to show that he meant what he said, he did push-ups and sit-ups each night and jogged at least five miles a day. He did jumping jacks, headstands, toe stands, windmills, hurdles, splits, knee bends, side bends, and neck rolls. He ran in place. He stretched. He flexed. He pulled and pushed and rolled. And every day, he seemed to run faster. Until one day, in late fall, a tree broke in a high wind. It fell across a stream and formed a bridge leading from the commander's meadow to a strange new world. The commander crossed to the other bank and discovered a large wooden structure which people called a picnic table. When he looked underneath it, he could not believe his eyes. The ground was covered with food. This place must be paradise, he thought. He was so overcome by the richness of the bank that he lay down in the grass to catch his breath. When he had recovered from his astonishment, he began to taste the food. A bite of cheese, a bit of bread... A taste of apple, a swallow of chocolate. In no time at all, the commander was stuffed. Wow, he thought, what a feast. No more running for me. My running days are over. All I have to do is carry this food to the anthill and we'll be well fed for a year. And that is exactly what he did. From the day of his discovery until the day he retired, the commander never ran again. He walked. He gave up his exercises and gave up his title as commander of the fleet. After all, why work so hard and run so fast to find food when all he had to do was cross the stream and go to the picnic table? Did he regret that he was no longer the fastest ant in the hill? Not really, he said. Once I was called a speedy ant, but now I am happy to be called an ex-speedy ant. So whenever someone takes the easy way out, or takes the practical or convenient path, think of the commander, who was content to be called an ex-speedy ant, and you will remember the word expedient. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more great videos.